about various things, you know, <coughs> resources that we wouldn't have known about if we hadn't had the group. And it feels supportive as well, I have to say. You know, you don't feel that you're alone in your mm. in your organisation and how you're doing. Similar, how you a similar sure. response. Um, I think it's the, really the format of the day is really part of the clue for how that can happen which is people need to actively take responsibility for this network whatever it may be so there's an interesting combination of is it a portal for information that doesn't tread on the toes of other information gathering agencies or giving agencies also if you give too much information will then people not participate and become passive users and treat it as an agency so it's a bit of a chicken and egg but I think some of the positives certainly from the group that I, I posed a question was was to start looking at some tangible events that could be fun, that are about sharing information to local authorities uh, or not. Do you know, I mean, that was the sort of question. There's got to be something that raises my profile or works for me. You know what I mean? So it's knowing a bit more about the infrastructure and the different. Um, areas whether that's rural or whether that's the black country and finding out what the agenda is for each of those areas once we know that and who the artists are then we can affect a change in the infrastructure of visual arts on the west midlands region so i found that you know i've just gone international and reached myself in a different way but so you can tell me how you're looking at this and i could share with you how i'm looking at it it's been a really fascinating day um, and one of the things that's emerged is that there's an incredible range of perceptions, viewpoints, etc. More recently it's sort of turning point meetings we've been discussing, well I've been sort of putting forward, do we need to act partly as a lobbying um, organised pressure group? I think in response to turning point I think we're, uh, we're at an extremely interesting time in terms of the visual arts and how we're going to move it forward um, particularly in a time of economic downturn and I think as artists I think what artists really need to consider and is the value that they put to their work and how it is valued not just in the artistic community but outside of the artistic community. Well, I think yeah. that then links again to more differences because you're then, you know, by raising the quality and the consistency of what's on offer in a particular place, you're then raising the expectations of an audience. Because I'm originally from Trinidad, my work is, is, um, is on Western art, as they would say. So I got involved with things like Elephant in your room because I wanted to see, you know, the other side. Uh, I don't think I've got a simple answer on that and I suppose I take it from the angle of my work which is um, running Disability Arts in Shropshire Dash so we work with disabled artists and disabled people as an arts audience so I guess that to me is about making the visual arts as inclusive as possible and that's a very complex and that's a very long term it's not something that would change overnight. It's working that way, so that's a very different environment to kind of work in and use your creative thinking. So I'm still, I've had a residency here, I still make artworks, I still produce bodies of work, but I've also got other things that I can... It depends what particular precious organisations are under, doesn't it, as well as artists, because at Compton Burney, we are under, because it's an independent gallery, whose financial basis is changing, we need to be getting more visitors. I think really it's about finding different ways in which people can buy into this. And I think there's different, seg you know, there's different segments, so you've got like the arts, um, the artists themselves, you've also got people like local authorities, you've got funders, you've got agencies, and I think the important thing is to try and get buy-in from all those different sectors really. You probably, I think the turning point probably needs to, think, to work out what exactly what it wants to do, and maybe pinpoint three or four activities or things that it can say it does, and just do them really well and be very clear in terms of what it can offer and how people can buy into that really in terms of its offer. Um, I think these are interesting times for contemporary art practice.